Hello, welcome to ViolinTutorPro.com and this is our first lesson on how to read music, theory lesson one. We're going to go over a few points today and kind of interpret how things look in actual music um, compared to what we're going to learn. So let's get right to it. Um, the first thing that we're going to learn is the music staff. The music staff is all these lines basically combined. Everything that you see here, this is considered the music staff, okay? Ledger lines are the actual lines that you see here, the horizontal lines. Um, and there's five different lines, one, two, three, four, five. So those are the ledger lines, okay? Treble clef is what we uh, play in music in, with violin. There's different clefs for different instruments, and the highest clef that you will see in any music is the treble clef, which is this kind of unique sign right here. This is the only uh, clef we will use with violin. Okay, next thing we're going to learn is time and key signature, okay? And key signature is this little sharp sign right here, and we'll learn more about what that means later on. And time signature is the numbers here, four and four, and what that's saying is there's going to be four beats um, per measure, okay? And actually measures, which is number six here, is each of the notes that are combined um, per bar line. So like these four notes here, that's one measure, and it's stopped by this bar line. These are four notes here, stopped by this bar line, okay? So there's four beats per measure. We'll learn more about tempo and stuff in actual theory le lesson two, okay? Next concept, we just learned the bar lines. So number seven is the double bar, and that's just two bar lines instead of just one, okay? And typically what that's gonna do is, uh, is the end of music is gonna be stopped by a double bar, okay? Number eight is quarter notes. And that's what you see here, with these little um, little circles with the stems. Those are quarter notes. And each of these are going to get one beat, one clap, okay? So that's all we're going to do for now, as far as the rhythm goes. Pretty simple. Everything gets the same amount of uh, count, okay? Number nine is quarter rest, and that's this little sign right here. And that's basically saying that you're not going to play at this point in the music, okay? So we're going to play six notes, and then the seventh beat, you're not going to play any note at all, okay? And then the eighth beat, you'll, you'll play a quarter note, okay? That's what that is. Number 10 is explaining to you what E, G, B, D, F is, and that is the uh, lines on um, the music staff. It actually represents every good boy deserves fudge. That's a good way to remember it. So the first line is an E, the second line is a G, B, D, and F, and that's an easy way to remember that, okay? Also, the next one is face, and that's the spaces on um, the music staff. So we have F, A, C, E, and obviously you can just remember that from face, okay? Awesome. Next thing is pits, which is pizzicato, and that's actually what we will learn in lesson one. And in music, you'll just see it spelled out P-I-Z-Z -Z is pits, okay? And that's when we're going to do pizzicato, which we'll learn in the next lesson, okay? Number 13 is arco which is playing with the bow, okay? So pizzicato, you can probably guess, is not playing with the bow, it's playing with your finger, okay? Awesome. And the last thing I want to kind of introduce is this is the way that the actual music that I'm going to write out and the lessons are going to look like. Up here you have the string name, and I introduced in the um, music notes introduction what strings are on violin, which ones are which. So that's the top line. The second line is the fingering we're going to use, okay? So two, three, zero, no fingers, two, three, two, one, okay? So the reason why I put them on top of these notes is that's actual, actually where the notes are in, in accordance to the fingering and the, and the string, okay? So this is a D2, this is a D3, this is an open A, this is an A2, and it's good to get familiar with where those are so that you can actually, you know, read music, you know, someday um, without having to just read these because this is not going to be in um, normal music. That's just my way of writing the music in the next lesson. So really study this hard and then you'll start to get a, you know familiar with what everything, all the signs mean. And then in theory lesson two, we'll learn actual rhythm stuff and learn some different types of quarter notes and different types of rests and so on. So hope that helps out and uh, look forward to seeing you in lesson one, how to do pizzicato. See you there.